Welcome to the Eater Man. Hello and welcome to the EEPROM 9. Uh, you know that switch I was talking about in a few episodes? Well, I've gone and got it. So let's find out what's inside it and hopefully this beast will work because it will be useful to me. Bearing in mind I am doing a computer networking course. And switch is a kind of computer networking related. Uh, what type of screws have we got? Them. So... Do, 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 do. I need the PZ. Do, 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 do. We'll go with the biggest one. And let's get screwing. And there's the very important warranty void if removed. You've got on the front, you've got ports for expansion of optical modules, which aren't there. You've got your ports that you link into the network. The switches, the routers and whatnot. What looks to be some kind of serial line. And of course your console port, which is standard RS232 serial. For those of you who are interested. And that's probably information I should probably cut out. But, uh, I'm going to reconfigure this thing completely so it really doesn't matter. <laughs> So first off we remove everything that will inhibit it being opened up. Why has this thing been essentially thrown away? God only knows. <laughs> Hopefully not because it was broken, hopefully just because it was out of date. It's got gigabit ports on it though. Refer to instruction manual for selection of power cord. Well you just kind of use a kettle power cord. Made in China, just like absolutely everything in this world these days. So if it's broken, uh, I'll probably just strip it apart and throw what remains back in the engineering skip. Right here then. Oh god, it's one of these stupid cases that insists on being stuck. Let's get rid of warrant void. I really doubt a warranty really matters anymore, so that's gone. Right. Um. Hmm. What's holding this bugger together then? Hmm. Off with the front. Someone's already vandalised that. That's just some clip thing. Oh, does it slide out? Oh, this thing clipped in, isn't it? Oh, I hate it when they do this on devices. It pisses me off because it makes them awkward to open. Right, let's get a big screwdriver blade and start forcing the clips off. Right, what have we got here? Something that is held on by nothing. Mm. Why do they have to make these things as difficult as possible to pull apart? Oh man! Hmm, interesting. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Figured something out. I think you keep sliding forward like that. And this side. Hang on, doing it. Why the hell do they have to make these things out of plastic? For God's sakes. Here we go. No, you don't put yourself in. It's like a bloody PC, isn't it? Oh, fuck's sake, stop resisting! Arrgh! Damn you, you little bastard. Oh, this stupid case! What the 
the hell is holding it now? Hmm, surprisingly basic inside. I was expecting more. Especially when I've seen pictures inside of Cisco switches. Fan! Interesting. That port is linked into the power supply. Hmm. And there's loads of components I do not recognise whatsoever. There's these which are probably like FPGA type things. Processor will be one of these, I'm not sure which. ROM RAM, that's probably your RAM. There's at least your flash. Which will hold the operating system. Yeah, there isn't really much inside this. I expected there to be more. Hmm. Right, let's see who made the caps. This will give us Rubycom. Some engineering did actually go into this then. It's got Rubycom caps. Not just crappy no name brands. Rubycom. Rubycom. There's actually a chance this thing might work then. Yay! I have to test it with my extensive electrical safety testing stuff that I have, multimeter. But yeah. Can't see anything that's gone wrong in it, so that should power up. US patent, usual sort of crap. I don't think there's really much point patenting something that's been around for a while. Worthy salvage? Hell yeah. Let's put it back together. There's a clip that's being an arse. The two evil clips. And, uh, go on, back here. Back you go together. No, oh, yes, my mum to the knowledge oh, me getting Cisco equipment like no yes I will acquire myself some Cisco equipment I kind of need it for my course you know I want to get my own house I want to literally network the fuck out of it <laughs> just because I can what's that network you built but why have you built a full scale company network in your house because I know how to could that be any more of a worthy reason worthy salvage hell yeah well that can only be judged when I find out whether it works or not you can probably see my lovely pajamas and stuff or well, maybe not can I angle the camera My good old Jim Jams. The amusing thing is I can read their naming. <laughs> I understand exactly what their naming is. Of, of that, I understand what that's referring to exactly. When you study at these places, you do. To anyone else, it's so vague. And men does not mean it's the gay porn part of the porn servers in the uni either. <laughs> and yes, that is the most terrible pun you've probably ever heard, which is probably about as funny as looking at cheese rotting. But I'm so immature that I have to do some sort of crappy joke that makes no sense. And then we put the one rack mount thing that's still on it back on. Would be nice if the other one was there. Then I could actually rack mount it. Oh, you bloody... Why do screws do that? I'll screw these damn screws. Well, they're screwing a screw. will be a bit... Mm. Yeah, let's not go there. It's just making me sound weird. <laughs> or 
I am a widow, I am a widow, I am a widow tonight. I do weird stuff, I say weird stuff, I don't really know what's going on. Oh great, if it was broken, it is now. You stay there and don't fall over again. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks.